Hello, and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to have a conversation with Alan Ben Noon. He's joining us here as CEO and co-founder of Neurosense Therapeutics. He's joining us to discuss the recent FDA clearance to initiate a pharmacokinetic study of Prime C, hopefully to treat ALS. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Alan. Thank you for joining. Thank you very much, Neil. Pleasure to be here. As uh, CEO and co-founder of Neurosense Therapeutics, give us a little bit of information about ALS. How is it diagnosed? Um, so ALS is a fatal disease, as many of the audience know, uh, that leads to paralysis and death within two to five years after diagnosis, on average. Um, this is, uh, in this disease, the motor neurons, which are responsible for activating muscles, are degenerating and dying, and therefore the muscles stop functioning. To date, it takes several months from onset of early symptoms. So once the, uh, a person feels like something doesn't function well, until it's being actually diagnosed. Usually prior to diagnosing a patient with, the, with ALS, first other neurological diseases are evaluated and um, through an elimination process before the physician actually reaches out, reach, reach the conclusion that the patient has ALS. This is mainly due to the fact that there are no definite markers that identify that the patient has ALS in the early stages of the disease. Now, I understand that we only have two treatments that are approved for use in ALS. It's taken us quite a while to get these two treatments. Why do you think that is? That's a very good question. Well, my take on this is that, as you know, ALS is a rare disease. And at any given moment, one out of 10,000 people is living with ALS. And although the disease uh, was characterized over 150 years ago, once the, uh, you have the, uh, a person has the, the onset of the symptoms and until it is diagnosed, it takes, it takes some time. And as, as, as I mentioned before, and, and by that point, it is usually too late for the, for the person and they are just declining in their homes. This is the, what it used to be mm-hmm. in the previous years. And, Nobody knew about these patients. So uh, without any awareness, nothing really happened much. But today, thanks to the advanced technology, social networks and, and uh, Facebook, such as Facebook and, and others, the awareness was increased significantly. And that uh, drove into much more research and uh, uh, driven drug development in this field. And yet, as you know, uh, there is still no effective treatment available for the patient. Well, tell us about your company, Neurosense Therapeutics, and its approach to neurodegenerative diseases, if you would. Sure. So Neurosense Therapeutics was established five years ago with one major goal, to find and to develop an effective treatment for ALS and also other neurodegenerative diseases. And our innovative approach is to use a combination therapy that aims to tackle several pertinent targets in these diseases in order to create a clinical benefit for the patients. Currently, we are in the clinical stage in ALS, moving forward into, the, into a phase to be multinational placebo-controlled study, and this will be initiated in several weeks. And what exactly is going to be involved in this study? We mentioned uh, the advancements in Prime C. Yes, exactly. Now, that is your lead candidate, Prime C. How exactly does it work? So Prime C is a novel formulation that consists of two FDA-approved drugs combined together in a unique doses and unique formulation. And this formulation aims to maximize the synergism between these compounds and t- tackle multiple uh, targets that are involved in this disease. What was it that led you to combine these two compounds in the first place in your search for therapy for ALS? Well, it started with first identifying what we understand as the most important mechanisms that are involved in ALS. We then began to identify the molecules that could interact with these targets and to modulate them. It came down to eventually two compounds, which we formulated in a way that 
aims to maximize the synergism uh, between them. We found that they work in, uh, in synergy and now we wanted to increase this synergism and we uh, developed a formulation that uh, could uh, uh, potentially do that. Now, I thought I heard you mention a, a bit of the, the study design. Did you not? And if you did, great. If not, would you explain that to us briefly? Of course. So uh, actually there are two clinical studies ahead. Um, one is a pharmacokinetic study for which we already have our FDA IND clearance, and we are on track to initiate this uh, in the coming weeks, and uh, actually in, the, in about two weeks. And the other one is a phase 2B study, double-blind, placebo-controlled, a uh, multinational study that we expect to begin in two months. Um, we intend to enroll uh, patients um, into the study. In first patient in is expected in, uh, in two months. So in the studies, we will aim to confirm that uh, we are achieving the required synergism of the compounds and maximizing the potential effect. We believe that in the phase 2B studies, PrimeC's unique formulation may achieve even better results than those already demonstrated in our previous phase 2A study. So what are your thoughts on what your company will be doing over the next uh, 18 months or so? Are there other areas, neurodegenerative conditions that you're also considering? Absolutely. And thank you for mentioning it. We are currently developing therapies for Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. And we intend to be IND ready by the end of 2022 uh, in these indications. And you also asked me our goals for the near term. Yes. Uh, uh, as mentioned, to initiate the pharmacokinetic study in the next two weeks and to have our first patient in in the phase 2B study in the next uh, several weeks. This is the most important, the, the major milestone that's ahead of us. Okay. And we are also uh, aiming to, uh, um, to receive fast-track approval from the FDA and to extend our communication with the agency. This is another goal that we have. And we plan to present results from additional biomarker research in collaboration with Massachusetts General Hospital. And also, um, I mentioned the Alzheimer's program. Uh, we also uh, expect from the Alzheimer's biomarker experiment that uh, we are starting now, uh, we expect results in uh, June this year. So lots of exciting things that are going on currently. Well, give us a website where we can learn more about Neurosense, if you would. Absolutely. So our website is www.neurosense-tx.com. Or you can just Google Neurosense Therapeutics and you'll find us easily. Well, Alan, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio, lending us some of your time. Hopefully we'll get together in the future and um, discuss Neurosense uh, Therapeutics and the compounds that you're developing there. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Neil. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Alan Ben Noon. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.